Is it possible to remove a story from an active sprint? The answer is yes. But sometimes we all know that's not a good practice. But I know sometimes too we make mistakes, we do things, and we want to pull a story out of the backlog. So let me show you three ways how you can move a story from an active sprint to either another sprint or to a product backlog. Welcome back to Aisha Tech. I'm very happy for you to join my platform. For my current subscriber and my new subscribers, I welcome you all to the channel and kindly like and share and subscribe to this channel. It takes a lot of work and dedication to do this series. All right, so now to go to the sprint to show you one simple way, number one, how to pull out an active story from a sprint backlog to a product backlog. So as you all know, looking back at our previous videos, this is the product backlog, which you've shown from the past videos. And this is the active sprint, and this is our next sprint. So right now, all the sprints are all closed. So that's why you are not seeing any story. And this arrow here, drop down. That oh, When you see this arrow is drop down, that means you open and you see everything in the backlog. And when you select that arrow, it closes everything. So right now, this is the product backlog. And up here is the sprint backlog. So now let me open this current active sprint. Print. And let's say I want to pull this story, uh, story uh, 473, which says Scrum, uh, Scrum Guide. Let me pull this story from the sprint backlog to the product backlog. So it's as easy as click and drag. And as always, when you're pulling a story from an active sprint to any other backlog outside of the active sprint, Jira will always give you warning. Because why is that? You've already planned during the initial sprint planning that you were going to complete all of these tasks. And now midway or after the sprint already started, you want to pull something out, Jira is going to warn you that you are doing something that's anti-agile. Basically, it's not a good practice. So it says sprint scope will be affected by this action. Jira will give the warning, right? So this story will be moved to this sprint, to the sprint backlog. That's what I selected. And you will have to confirm as a scrum master. And it's a very, very good practice for you to coach the team, right? I'm saying this because I know teams sometimes do not know that if they pull things in and out of the active sprint, it will affect the overall sprint report. It also will affect the sprint and also it will affect the overall scope of work. So it's your responsibility as a scrum master to coach and educate and tell the team about moving things back and forth, right? Because especially if you have a team that's new to Agile or you have a product owner that's new, that they don't know the way how all this thing works, or you're working with the business analyst that write stories and they think they can move things back and forth. It's very important you always coach the team that. And if this has been valuable, follow Aisha Tech in all social media platforms. And if you are interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email us at admin at aishascrumtech.com. Go check our website, www.aishatech.com. So now I'm going to confirm this so we can move this 473 story to that sprint that I selected. So I hit confirm. So to do, you see? The one, the blue that's highlighted, this is the story that I moved from the active sprint to the sprint. So that's one way. Another way is also for me to select these three dots. You see these three dots. If you, I'm sure some Jira will have this, some Jira might not. I know every Jira look different. You might see me do some features in Aisha Tech uh, YouTube page. And then you go back to your own job at work and you're like, oh, I can, I can see that future, right? But it's there, it's just that it's hidden and it's different because we have Jira server, we have Jira cloud, and this is the Jira cloud in case if anyone is wondering. So I hit these three dots, move issues to, I have all this option. I can either move it to SM Sprint 35, I can either move it to top of the backlog, move up, move down, between, move up, meaning within the sprint itself, that won't affect the scope because if you move it, it's up and down. Move down, that's within the sprint itself, it won't affect the overall scope up and down. Bottom of the backlog, that's definitely going to affect it because why? That's the product backlog. When it says backlog, it means the product backlog. And right now, where this spring, this story, 472, this story actually currently is in an active sprint in sprint 34. So that's why. 
and I'm going to select this back and I'm going to move this to top of the product backlog. So that's going to be my own choice because we plan to work on this, let's say next print. But if you know this is something that you don't want to work on and it's not ready to be worked on, you should definitely move this to the bottom of the product backlog. Then later on during backlog refinements, your team can come together and discuss what you would do with that story, right? If you want to discard it or if you want to cancel it or if you just want to keep it for later. So now select. And now Jira also going to give the warning, right? Because we are now moving things out of the backlog, right? Then hit confirm and I did the change. And if I want to move it back, it's going to give me the warning, right? Because I'm changing the scope, right? Right? And Jira going to give me the warning. Now that I'm moving this story back to the sprint again. So that's why sometimes when you with your team, they have to know this. Anything you do in Jira will be held, you'll be held accountable just kidding anything you do anything you do in jira can be tracked can be seen can be noticed right so just let everyone know for transparency and openness purposes right then i hit confirm because i'm moving this back and this where else this is going to reflect to all these things that i'm moving back and forth where what is the other place would you see this reflect on I would like you all to comment this. Let me see how much knowledge you all have in Agile and Scrum delivery process, right? So these changes I've been doing, right? I've pulled story out, I've pulled story in, I've pulled two story out. So where would all of this reflect on? What data, what reports? So comment down in the chats below and that will also let me know that you actually watched till now to listen, right? So comment, so I wanna see, then I'll, I'll respond to all of your comments, you know? I'll let you know in the comments if you are actually right or wrong. All right, so that's another way. Another way to do this, let's say you have too many stories in the backlog and you also wanna move, now you are, you are struggling, you can't find the story and someone told you to move this story out of the backlog after discussion in their tech meeting or something and they are new, they don't know how to do it. So the first thing you can do is to search, right? You see the search box up here, it's very valuable. It's something that you can use any issue you search here that's connected to this Jira link, anywhere in other different teams can show up. As long as you have the right project key, this is the project key, and the right Jira ticket number or the issue number, right? So in this case, if I, let's say I want to move out this story, um, this one with the Scrum Guide, the 43 again, right? And I'm just going to come here and search SM dash for three hold on let me make sure i have the right the right number so let me make sure 43 is gonna be sm 473 so you see as soon as i selected that i on the search bar sm 473 the story popped up the story came up and you can search any story as long as you know the, the issue key and the number. So now this is the story. Let's say now I want to move this out of the sprint. I don't want it anymore. People are like, okay, I can't find, I don't know how I'm going to move this. How can I move the story? So that's where you're going to select here in the icon that says sprint. You select this side and you basically just exit out. And when you exit out, it's going to move this story to outside because now the sprint says none. Now that the sprint says none, that means this story now, it's out of the sprint. So then we're going to go back and check, right? And don't forget to refresh your, your board in case you are like, oh my God, I've done it and the story is still there. Always just refresh. Read the arrow and refresh. And ta-da! You see? The story also left. The story came out of the, came out of the sprint, active sprint. From me opening up the sprint and going in and delete the sprint space. I just delete the sprint number. It actually take it out. And then if I go, go all the way down, I should see the story. Then if I take out the sprints from that and I delete the sprints, you must be wondering, okay, where did the story go? <laughs> the story actually go to the product backlog. The story will always go to the product backlog. And if I come here and look at um, SM473, And if I come to the product backlog and look at SM473 that we searched initially up here, 
right? This is what we searched and we took out and I hit the delete. So it left the sprint backlog and now came to the product backlog. You see backlog and look where the story that. So now this story is in the product backlog. But what did you notice the difference? What, what did not happen? When I went and opened the story, searched the story and exit out, what did not happen? Jira did not warn me. Jira did not give me that warning that, oh, you are taking this out, out of the sprints, like how it was doing with the other way around when we were dragging up and down, selecting the three dots. Jira was giving me warning. So when I just go and open the full story and X out and X out the sprints for that in that particular story, it just literally took it back to the product backlog and Jira did not give me a warning, right? So let's say you don't want to open or search at the top here. You just want to have this quick way to do it too without searching it at the top to remove a story from an active sprint to the product backlog or sprint backlog or any other backlog outside the active sprint, right? So I'm going to select on the story itself to open it on this side when I select on that too. I scroll all the way down to sprints right here too. And then I select on that. You can also exit out. X out. And when you X out, this story uh, 474. When you X out, it's also gonna let I'm gonna have to refresh. When I refresh, it's gonna take it out of the out of the sprint. Then you then you refresh your screen, and when you refresh your screen, and when you refresh your screen, you're gonna see that the story also disappears. It take, it gets out of the uh, sprint backlog, and you wonder, oh, where does the story go <laughs> to the product backlog? The story will always go back to the product backlog. Whenever you take something out from the sprint backlog, it goes right back to the product backlog, and it's gonna be in here somewhere. And right here, and right here, the story goes back to the product backlog. And if we did that technique, Jira will not give us warning. By the way, if this all have been valuable, all I ask for is for you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. This actually will mean a lot to the channel when you subscribe. That's one way to give back from all the hard work I've been doing in this page. I just ask for you to like and subscribe to this channel and comment down below where what will happen to the reports and the data so that we'll be able to have a meaningful discussion in the chat. I plan to respond to all of your comments. So I'll let you know if you are right. That's all you'll use to different four, actually give you guys four ways to actually remove a story from an active sprint and move it to any other backlog to the product backlog. If you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email us at admin at asiascrumtech.com. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in our next video.